Hi, my name is Niklas Magnusson, bespoke glove cutter at Hestra, and I'm going to show you how to properly fit and care for your gloves. You've probably heard the expression, fit like a glove. Well, a pair of dress gloves should fit nicely, so before buying a pair, please pay attention to the following step. It all starts in the store, and if you shop online, use a measuring tape and our size converter at the website to find your correct size. Measure the circumference of your palm. The other measurements will normally be in proportion to it. The size number in gloves matches the measurement around your palm in inches. And yes, you should always measure your biggest hand. A properly fitted glove should be a bit difficult to put on the first few times, but after a while it will form nicely to your hand. This is one of the reasons to buy a well-cut glove. They will feel like a second skin and just get better with age and wear. When putting on your gloves, pull it gently over the hand by switching between pulling the palm and the back of the glove down towards the wrist. Avoid pushing down between the fingers. When trying on a pair of gloves for the first time, bend the hand upwards and make sure you get a small fold at the knuckles. Then you know that the size is correct. When you're taking off your gloves, start by gently pulling each finger and then all the fingers at the same time. By following these simple tips, your gloves will not only last longer, but also retain their original fit better. The materials we use in our gloves are quite simply some of the finest in the world. These natural, carefully crafted materials also require that you care for them in a proper way. Here is some advice. The glove cutter determines the elasticity of each glove to ensure the perfect fit. However, after a period of use, it's normal for the glove to widen over the hand. To restore with the original fit, simply stretch the glove over the edge of a table by just holding the fingertips with one hand and the cuff opening with the other. Then gently stretch the back of the glove against the table. For your fingers and the thumb, simply stretch each finger from the bottom and work your way up to the tip, ideally with 4 or 5 strokes per finger. By doing so, the elasticity of the leather will return to the original shape. Ideally, your leather gloves won't get dirty. But if they do, here is how you clean them. Washing a pair of gloves is like washing your hands. Either wash them under running lukewarm water, or as I do, in a bowl filled with water. First, Put them on and then soak them. In order not to dry out the leather too much, use a mild soap with a lot of natural fat, such as a mache soap. Gently rub it into your gloves. Rinse thoroughly under running water and make sure to get all the soap out. When cleaned, gently squeeze out most of the remaining water and make sure not to twist your gloves as it will damage them. Put them in a dry towel and squeeze gently one last time to make sure there's no excess water left. Let your gloves dry on a flat surface, preferable on a clean towel at room temperature. Avoid any kind of heat source as it will damage the leather. Try to reshape them a bit in order to get back the original fit. Your gloves will take many hours to dry, and during this time, make sure to put them on a few times and reshape them on your hands as they dry. 
Hopefully your gloves will never get so dirty that you have to wash them. Beware that moisture and water may cause dark stains to appear, especially on brighter colors and thin leathers such as hair sheep. So try avoid water whenever you can. If dark stains would appear from being wet, gently rub in some talcum powder and the stain will most likely fade. Damp natural materials wear out faster than dry. Therefore it's wise to give your pair a rest from time to time. Wearing them every other day and altering with a second pair is to prefer, so that the materials can dry between the wearing. Especially cashmere lining will wear out quickly if you wear them every day, probably already after a few months, so if you have the possibility, try to build up a smart plan glove wardrobe for varying temperatures and occasions. Unlined gloves for early fall and spring, cashmere lined for colder days, and a pair of fur lined for the coldest part of the winter. By the way, when your lining is worn out, which normally happens after a few seasons, change it. The leather, however, can hold for almost a lifetime if you look after your gloves in a proper way.